keeps telling me that Jesus is God. All right. And I know that you speak the scriptures, you know, you read the scriptures as they're written. And um, I believe that Jesus is the son of God. Okay. And that God Almighty is God. Mm -hmm. And if you take just the one scripture. Give me any scripture you want. God spoke down from heaven and said, this is my son in whom I'm well pleased. That's right. I really believe that if Jesus was God, God would have spoke down from heaven and said, this is me in whom I'm well pleased. Okay. So, um, but What's I, your name, brother? Tony. Oh, I can remember that. I've oh, seen you in Columbia. Oh, brother named Tony. I've seen you at the beach. Okay. Myrtle Beach. All right. But I believe that, you know, this By the is... way, let me straighten that up. We wasn't on the beach in the sand, you know. <laughs> He, he saw us at the convention, you know. The convention center. Just wanted to clear that up. I really feel that it's the Spirit leading me that the Son of God is the Son of God, our Savior. All right. Sent to Earth. Sent to earth. Is that it? I, I just want to say one more thing. Come on. That all the implied scriptures that, and all the cute sayings that people have saying that Jesus is God, by knowing that the Son of God is the Son of God and God is God, it allows me to, to reach a deeper meaning and level to the scriptures that they put together and say that Jesus is God. All right. Thank you. Let me help you, Brother Tony. Jesus is God. That's right. Hear me. The statement is correct, but the explanations that preachers give is wrong. That's right. Now, let me dive in the subject for you. Let me dive in the subject. That's right. Quotation without explanation is damnation that brings about frustration and it will put you in a situation. <laughs> now, first and foremost, the nature of God. God is a spirit. A spirit. In St. John chapter 4 and verse 24. I'm going to explain and itemize. John 4 24 says, God, God is a spirit. Is a spirit. And they that worship him, they that worship them, him, them, him. I want this to be good if I got any Trinitarians here. You got too much worship going on. Right. You're only supposed to worship one, not two, not three, not four. One. That's it. They that worship what? They that worship him. Him. Must worship him. How? In spirit. And how? And in truth. Why? Because the Father. For the Father seeketh. Because such God wants such to worship him. That's how he wants to be worshipped. That's right. The nature of God. Spirit. Spirit. Now, Tony. Go ahead. The name Go ahead. of God Go ahead. is Jesus. That's right. The name was in existence right. before the Son of God was. So the question is, Tony, where did the Son of God get his name from? That's right. Who name did he come in? Mm -hmm. Let's go to a prayer. A prayer. That Jesus had. In the book of St. John chapter 17. What you don't get, Tony, in order for you and I go ahead, to be where we are today, mm -hmm. took a sacrifice. That's right. Took the shedding of blood. Mm -hmm. Took some death. No prophet, no apostle was good enough to die for us That's right. until God put a search on. In the book of Revelation chapter 5. Listen. And we'll start reading at verse 3. The book says. And no man in heaven. No man that got all angels. That's right. That got all the elders around the throne because there's 24 of them. That's right. No man was qualified. No man in heaven. In heaven. Nor in earth. Nor in earth. Neither under the earth. That got the sea and the grave. Yes. That's right. That means not even God can pull somebody from the past to do it. 
That's right. When you go under the earth, you once exist. That's right. So God he couldn't even get no one from the past Amen. under the earth. Under the earth. God let you know the condition was so messed up that a past man mm -hmm. and a present man couldn't do it. That's right. Listen. And no man in heaven nor in earth, neither under the earth, could do it. was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. Hold it. Open the book. Open. It wasn't no New Testament then. Right. It was just the old. That's right. So when he said no man was worthy to open, open. the book and to do what? Neither to look thereon. Neither was a man qualified to look thereon. The opening of the book made no man was worthy to manifest the contents of the book. That's right. The question is, what in the book needed manifestation? That's right. I want to take my time and soak it. Amen. To manifest the contents of the book mean to fulfill what was in the book. That's right. So no man was found worthy. In fact, at one time, God says, I couldn't find no man to swear by, so I swore by myself. By myself. <laughs> How did you do it, Lord? It says, with his own, own arm, he brought salvation. Hold it. Don't just read it. Itemize it. The question is, what do you mean with your own arm? What do you do with your arms? You reach out, embrace, and bring to. That's right. So with his own arm, he reached out to embrace creation and bring them right to him. With his own arm, he brought salvation. Hold it. What do salvation mean? With his own arm, he brought deliverance and he brought healing because all of us were born sick, contaminated in sin, conceived in us. And the only healer was God. But there was a remedy that God didn't have. That's right. There was a certain element that God didn't have. That's right. You see, it took two elements to save us. That's right. One element had no beginning. The other element had to be created. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. I want to take my time and soak you. Go ahead, brother. One element is divine, mm -hmm. immortal, immortal, celestial, mm -hmm. perpetual, yeah. everlasting. Yes. No beginning, no ending. Yeah. Always was, yeah. always has been, right. always will be. Spirit, Spirit. that's God. That's God. That's God. But it took blood right. to redeem us. That's right. First For John. it is written. First John chapter 5 and at verse 6. First John chapter 5 and verse 6 says, This is he. Wait a minute. You see, I love to itemize, itemize things. It. Itemize it. The very first statement told me a lot. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, brother. The very first statement Go ahead. told me a lot. Go ahead. It said what? This is he. He who? He who? Now you got to find out who is the he. That's right. This is who? This is he. The Lord said, if you don't believe that I am he, give me the book of Isaiah. Let's see who is the he. That's right. That's right. Isaiah chapter 43. And then Follow me, Tony. Isaiah chapter 43 and at verse 10. My God, I'm going to have you like Tony the Tiger saying it's great. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> it's great. <laughs> Glory to God. Listen. This is he. This is he. Ye are my witnesses. Now look at God talking. Isaiah chapter, chapter 43 verse again. and at verse 10. Chapter and verse again. Isaiah chapter 43. And verse 10. Tell what? Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord. Saith who? Saith the Lord. It is written, know ye the Lord that he is who? God. God. 
So this is God talking. You are my witnesses, say of the Lord. And my servant whom I have chosen. And what did he say? That ye may know. The Lord says that ye may know. And believe me. And believe me. And understand. And understand. That I. That I. Am. Am. He. 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 God is he. That's right. That's right. Huh? Go ahead, brother. Why do God bear the title he? He. Because he bears the title he, mm -hmm. because man will come in the image of him. That's right. That's, right. That's why I can't be a goddess. Because a goddess is a she. Right. And God is he. This is he. I understand. That's right. Let's go back. Back to 1 John chapter 5. 1 John chapter 5. And verse 6. Verse 6. This is he. This is God. That came. That came. By water. And what? And blood. Hold it. Now we got to find out how did he come by water. How did God do something Go ahead. like this? Sister Wednesday, come around in the front there, sister. Go ahead. Sister Wednesday, come on up here on Monday. <laughs> God comes mm -hmm. by water, water and, blood. and blood. Here's the female. Yes. Consisting of water, water and, blood. and blood. This is he that came by water and blood and what else? Even Jesus Christ. Even Jesus Christ. Not by water only. Not by water only. But by water and blood. Why? And it is the spirit that bears witness. It is the spirit. That's responsible for his arrival because, because the, the spirit, spirit is or true. God is true. So here's the female, Mary, Mary. consisting of blood, water, and, water. and, spirit. and spirit. And these three mm -hmm. agree in one. In one. Yeah, that's, right. that's what the apostle said, didn't he? At First John chapter five and verse eight. Give me John. First John. First John chapter five. Five and eight says. And there are three. There are three that bear witness in earth. You see, he came, and when he overshadowed the woman, right. there was a witness already there. That's Mary right. was earth. Right. Mary was flesh. Mm -hmm. Mary was natural. That's right. There was three witnesses already in Mary. That's right. What was it? And there are three that bear witness in earth. What is it? The spirit. Spirit. Spirit was already in Mary. That's right. Because the breath of your nostrils is the spirit of the Lord. That's right. And the same one that was responsible for her spirit overshadowed Mary. Right. Meaning he came upon her. That's right. He didn't go right in her and work. No. Because he had to get the unbelief out of her first. That's right. She asked, how can this be? I don't know, man. Well, then it was explained the power of the highest, the power of the highest, yes. the power of the highest. When you say highest, that means the power of God. Shall Nothing is higher than God. That's right. The power of the highest shall overshadow thee. And therefore, and also, listen, listen, the highest was going to make a lower thing. That's right. Highest will make something lower. Lower. That's right. I, I explained that. Here you had Mary, blood, water, spirit. spirit. All of us born in the world with sin, shaped into iniquity. It ain't a prophet that God sent that can die for you or me. That's right. But the question is, Tony, where did Jesus come from? That's right. Did you know before Abraham was, Jesus was here? That's right. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can't say that was a son mm -hmm. because if Jesus was here before Abraham was mm -hmm. and someone said, well, that's talking about the son, mm -hmm. that would mean his mother was here right. before Abraham was. Saint John, and that would make Mary eternal. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. <laughs> Go ahead and have a seat with me. Do you understand? That's right. Let's itemize this in the Bible. Saint Listen. St. John chapter 8 and we're at verse 56. John 8, 56 says. Your father Abraham. Oh, Jesus talking. Your father. Your father Abraham. Abraham. Rejoiced to see my day. And he saw it and was glad. Wait a minute. Jesus talking. That's right. This is Jesus talking. Jesus answered. Give chapter verse. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 56. Jesus answered. Your father Abraham. Your father Abraham. Rejoiced to see my day. And what? And he saw it and was glad. Wait a minute, brother. 
What did Abraham see Jesus? Abraham. Abraham? Abraham. Mary didn't exist. No. Mary wasn't born. That's right. You can't say there was a son. The son come from the tribe of Judah, the root of David, the offspring of David. Mary wasn't back there. That's right. But Jesus was. That's right. Oh, yeah. He told them Abraham saw my day and then, got happy. Then said the Jews unto him. Then said the Jews to him. Thou art not yet 50 years old. You see how colonel minded they were? You ain't yet 50 years old, son and, of God. And you ain't yet 50 years old. They was talking about his flesh. Right. The flesh wasn't yet 50 years old. That's right. And you saw Abraham. And hast thou seen Abraham? What did Jesus say? Jesus said unto them. Jesus said to them. Verily, verily, I say unto you. What? Before. What? Before. What? Before. What? Before. Before what? Before Abraham before was. Before Abraham exists. I am. Now, the question is, how did Jesus exist before Abraham? How did Jesus exist before Abraham? Jesus is the name of the Father. That's right. Give me the book of John. I'm going to show you how he exists before Abraham. That's right. Let's see when he prayed and was thankful. St. John chapter 17. Follow me. And we'll start at verse 1. Follow me. St. John chapter 17 and we'll start at verse 1. Listen. These words spake Jesus. Glory. Amen. Glory. These words These spake words Jesus. Spake Jesus. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And lifted up his eyes to heaven. And said, Father. God. The hour is come. You see right then they say, well, how could he be God? He's praying to somebody. Just follow me. That's right. Put your seatbelt on. We'll take care of you. Mm -hmm. Father, the hour is yet come. The hour is come. And what? Glorify thy son. Glorify thy son. That thy son also may glorify thee. Yes. As thou, and at verse 5. All right. And now, O Father. Now, O God. Glorify thou me with thine own self. Glorify thou me with thine own self. With the glory which I had with thee before the world. Now he thank God for them that he gave them out of the world. Mm -hmm. In his name. I pray for them. Listen, listen, listen at this. He said, I pray for them. I pray not for the world. I pray not for the world. But for them which thou hast given me. But for them which thou hast given me. For they are thine. They are thine. And all mine are thine. And what? And thine are mine, and I am glorified in them. And, and now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world. And, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name thou which thou hast given me. Wait a minute. Do what? Keep through thine own name. Keep. Keep. Keep through thine own name. Through thine own name. Those thou hast given me. God's own name. Own name. Through that name, That's right. he gave the Son of Man men. That's right. That's right. Through the name of Jesus, the Spirit gave to the Son of Man men. That's right. And then he sent the men out and told them the function in that name. That's right. Neither pray I for these alone. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 17. I want 17. to go right to the point. St. John 17 and verse 20. Listen. Neither pray I for these alone. You remember, he's still talking to the Father or still praying to the Spirit. That's right. Neither Neither pray I for these alone. I'm not praying for these alone. But for them also. That what? Which shall believe on me through their word. And what? That they all may be one. Now listen. Here you had God, eternal spirit, having no beginning of days, having no end of life, always was, always has been. And in order for us to be saved, a sacrifice had to be given. That's right. So being that there was nobody of the human family that was qualified to save us, mm -hmm. God came himself. Mm -hmm. When I say God came himself, God manifests himself in the, flesh. in the flesh. Now the mistake that preachers made, they said God became man. Right. That's a lie. That's right. God ain't never became man. That's right. God is spirit. Right. But what God did was God and Mary and he created a man child. That's right. 
And then when he created a man child, he put the form of the child on. In Philippians chapter 2. Notice the second chapter of the book of Philippians. And at verse 6. Listen. Who being in the form of God. Who being in the form of God thought it not robbery. To be re -equal with but God, what did he do? But made himself a Wait a minute. reputation. Take your time. He did what? But made himself. Wait a minute. God is not made. That's right. The flesh is made. That's right. In the body of Mary was two lives there. That's right. One life was spirit, which is eternal. The other life was natural, which had a beginning. That's right. So when he said, before Abraham was, I am, he's talking about the spirit. Right. That's right. Because the spirit always was. That's right. In fact, the spirit is Abraham's father. That's right. You get what I'm telling you? That's right. So when God made a body in the body of the woman, the son of God was God's sheep. Mm -hmm. The son of God was God's form. Mm -hmm. The son of God was God's fashion, was God's figure, was God's image, was God's similitude. Mm -hmm. So God dwelled in that body, and it was a natural life source in that body. That's right. It is written. The life of all flesh lieth in the blood. So here you had God walking in flesh. Right. God did not become flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. And this is where preachers have made the big mistake. They said God became flesh. That's a lie. That's a lie. Give me St. John chapter 1. St. John chapter 1 and beginning at verse 1. Let's strip it to pieces. In the beginning. When you say God became flesh, now you're saying God, God was breastfed. That's right. And now you're saying God have a mother. Right. And you're also saying God had to grow. That's right. Amen. The Bible says Jesus grew, grew. in stature mm -hmm. and in wisdom and, wisdom. and favor mm -hmm. with God and with man. There's a separation. In the nature, just like if God is in you, Tony, there's a separation from the nature of God and the nature of your flesh. That's right. Your flesh, you see, God, if uh, you have the Holy Ghost, Tony, you don't have the Holy Ghost. All right, well, I have the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. What's that? You're still tarrying. Do you have the Holy Spirit? You have the Holy Spirit. All right, I use that term. The Holy Spirit is God. Would you agree? All right. If you don't understand, let me keep moving. The Holy Spirit is God. So if God is in us, then God is one nature and our flesh is another nature. The nature of our flesh is not greater than the nature of God because our flesh has flaws right. and errors right. and make mistakes. Amen. But the spirit which is eternal is flawless. Amen. For my father. Listen. In the book of St. John chapter 14 and verse 28. What is it? For my father. Look at the spirit. The flesh referring to that spirit. My father. Is greater. Is greater. Than I. That means the spirit is greater than the flesh. So when men say God became flesh. No he did not. No. St. John chapter 1, beginning at verse 1 says, In the beginning was the Word. In the beginning was God. And the Word. That means God always was. Right. The beginning came into being because God spoke it here. That's right. In the beginning was what? Was the Word. What you mean? God used words. God used speech to bring the beginning into existence. That's right. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. That means he's a God of his Word. When he says something, it just got to happen. That's right. The word was with God, and who is it? And the word was God. All right, what else? The same was in the beginning with God. Let's go right to verse 14. And the word was made flesh. Hold it right there. This is where preachers say God became flesh. That don't mean that. It says the word was, was made, made flesh. flesh. God is eternal. God ain't me. That's right. God is everlasting. God is not me. That's right. God is forever and ever. God is not me. So what did it mean when the word was made flesh? That means by the creating power of the spoken word, flesh was made. That's right. You hear flesh being created right. and you hear God speaking it. That's right. What was it called? Prophecy. Prophecy. Unless 
Child is born, son is given, the government shall be upon his shoulder, the name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, of the increase of his government and peace, there shall be no end of his arm, his father David, he went on the Melchite and said, but thou Bethlehem Ephrata, mm -hmm. though thou may be little among the thousands of Judah, yet out of thee shall he come unto me, that is to be ruler in Israel, whose going forth has been from old to everlasting. What was the word do? Making flesh. That's right. The scepter shall not depart from Judah nor a law given from between his feet until Shiloh come and unto him shall the gathering of the people be binding his fold to the vine and his ass his coat to the choice vine he washed his garment in wine and his clothes in the blood of grace what was he doing? forming flesh the Lord said unto my Lord sit down on my right hand until thy make thy enemies thy footstool what was he doing? The word Made was making flesh. flesh. Thine little finger shall be thicker than thine father Lord. That's right. What was he doing? The word was making flesh. flesh. A rod shall come forth out of the stem of Jesse. That's and right. a branch shall grow out of his roots. That's right. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom and counsel and might. What was he doing? Making flesh. Now, Tony, let me show you that the name Jesus exists. Jesus exists before he was born. That's right. Give me Luke. Luke chapter 2 and then verse 21. Chapter 2. Mm -hmm. A lot of folk don't even know this scripture exists. That's right. Luke Jesus, I said. Mm -hmm. That name exists. He was in existence. That's right. Before he was born. That's right. Let me show you in the Bible. Luke chapter 2 and verse 21. Listen. And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. When eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child. His name was called Jesus. His name was called what? Jesus. His name was called what? Jesus. How long had been here? Which was so named of the angel when? before. When? Before. When? Before. When? Before. Before what? He was conceived in the womb. Before he got to the womb, he was here already. That's right. <laughs> and in Isaiah chapter Before he got to the womb. That's right. He was already here. That's right. The spirit, the eternal God, named is Jesus. So when he made the Son of Man, mm -hmm. God wanted all the recognition. Mm -hmm. God wanted all the honor. God wanted all the credit. Right. He didn't want the Son of God to get no credit. That's right. So he moved on the Son to say, I do nothing. Of myself. Of myself. That's right. I can't do nothing on my own. Myself. But as my father, or as the spirit, or as the highest, right. has sent me, I speak these things. I speak these things. The spirit that was in that flesh was greater than the flesh. The understanding is this. The flesh was the prophet. The spirit was prophecy. That's right. That's right. That's right. Flesh was prophet. God shall raise up a prophet like me. Like me. That's what Moses said. That's right. Him shall you hear in all things. The spirit is not a prophet. Right. The spirit is not an apostle. That's right. Apostle and a prophet is sent by the spirit. Taught by the Spirit, led by the Spirit, who teaches God, That's right. who guide God. So the flesh that was made in Mary's body, that flesh was a minister. That's right. That flesh was a prophet. That's right. That flesh was the chief shepherd and bishop of our souls. That flesh was an apostle. That's right. Because it was sent by a power greater than self. That's right. So God was in, in Christ Jesus. that flesh. In Christ Jesus. I want to show you God's location. Second Corinthians Give me 2 five. Corinthians chapter 5. And at verse 19. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 19. To wit. To what? That God. Wait a minute. Listen at the language of the book. To wit. To wit. That God. Hold it. Amen. What do you mean the term that God? That God. Because there are God's many. That's right. But there's one particular one. That's right. Who's that what you mean? That God.
God. That's right. The very first word, that. That. I am that. That, that I am. I'm not just called a I am. No, no. You know, a lot of preachers say, well, God said, I am that I am. I am that, that I, am. I am. In Exodus chapter 3. Listen at this. Exodus chapter 3 and verse 14. Says what? And God said unto Moses. And God said to Moses. I am. I am. That I am. I'm not just. I am not just anything. That's right. When I say I am. I am. I'm certain. That's right. I'm absolute. I'm absolute. You see, God is letting us know that His I am. He being the I am, there's none equal to Him. That's right. I am. You are what God? I am eternal. That, that's right. I am that I am. I am that perfection. I am the true definition of what I am is. That's right. I am eternal. I am the all-knowing. I am the almighty. I am that I am. I am that God. I am that creator. I am that absolute. Go ahead. Go ahead. God let you know that his being the I am. You may say I am a governor. I ain't like God though. Oh, no. I am a mayor. Right. I am a president. Right. But if God says I I'm a governor, yes. that's different. That's different. Because he's a universal governor. That's right. That's right. You may say, I am a king. Yeah. But if God said, I am a king, right. that means the universe, even the insects, Go ahead. gotta obey his command. That's right. Hey. That's right. His level of being the I am exceeds all others. That's right. So there was a separation. God got in Mary, formed the fashion of a child, and then God got in that child. And when God sent forth that child, it came from Mary's womb. Mary was not God's mother. That's right. You see, Mary didn't birth God. That's right. God was too big. Too big for that. God says, God says this, I'm higher than heaven, deeper than hell, broader than the sea, and longer than the earth. So in order for man to identify with God's will, God had to come in the appearance of man. That's right. So God made man and then got in it. And when he got in it, when the moment God took on flesh, he didn't become flesh. That's right. He took flesh on. That's right. When I put on a suit, I don't, I'm not the suit. I just take the suit on. That's right. The jacket moves when I move. Mm -hmm. My pants leg move when my leg moves. Right. So this was son of God. Mm -hmm. That's all this was. That's right. He went to the house of David. He saw the world was in chaos and some blood had to be shed. He didn't have none because God is eternal. Right. So God being spirit goes to the house of David and just put on so he can look like the children of men. Yes. Huh? He wanted to look like the children of men. That's right. Huh? For as much then. Listen at this. In Hebrews chapter 2 and verse 14. For as much then. As the children as are partakers. The children, you see, he wanted the children to identify with him. That's right. As the children are partakers, are of, flesh partakers blood, of flesh and blood. He also himself likewise. He also himself likewise. Took part of the same. So he went on to the womb and took part of the same. He took on flesh and blood, which was just dirty clothes for the spirit to work in. That's right. You see, the flesh and blood was like overalls. Yeah. He had a dirty job saving us. Yes. So he had to go put on some overalls that consist of flesh and blood. That's right. And he got those overalls at the house of David. He took it from the tribe of Judah. Amen. And when he got it, he came along walking around here looking like everybody else. That's right. But there was something different about him that wasn't like every other man. Mm -hmm. All other men was in sin. Right. But he came in the likeness, likeness of, of sinful flesh. flesh. That means he came looking like it, but he wasn't. That's right. Jesus was perfect. perfect. That's Jesus right. was infallible. That's right. That's right. Now, being perfect, being infallible, his flesh was simply an example that God created for us to follow. So the Bible said the word was made 
flesh. The flesh was not God. That's right. The flesh just bare and wore the name of God and he had the title of God. That's right. You see, Christ is not God's name. Christ is God's title. Christ was in the wilderness with Moses. That's right. And the Egyptians. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? That's right. Give me the book of Corinthians, son. First Corinthians chapter 10. Move quick. First Corinthians chapter 10. And begin at verse 1. And read at verse 1. Listen at this. Follow me. I hope you can give this. First Corinthians 10 and verse 1. Listen. Forward, brethren, I would not that you should be ignorant. You see, that's what I don't want. For years, the preacher said God became flesh. He was a liar. The moment you said God became flesh, you put age on God. That's right. And then it make the Catholics right by saying Mary is the mother of God. That's right. God ain't never been breastfed. No. God ain't never been breastfed. That's right. Mary birthed the body that God was in. That's it. Mary birthed the fashion that God manifests his power in. That's right. Isn't that what Paul said? Moreover, brethren, I would not that you should be in. I don't want you to be a fool. How that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. And what? And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And what? And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And? And did all drink the same spiritual drink. They all drank the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual drink. That's talking about the children of Israel. Right. Mary didn't exist. That's right. But the Bible said they drank. And they did all drink the same spiritual the drink. The same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that they followed them. They drank him. of that spiritual rock that followed. Who was that rock? And that rock was Christ. Wait a minute. Who was that rock? That rock was Christ. Give me the book of Samuel. Amen. Or rather Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Who did the Bible say that rock was? That rock was Christ. Let's see what Moses said. Deuteronomy chapter 32. And Let's see what Moses says about the rock. Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 4. Says what? He is the rock. God talking. That's right. It is written, he is the rock. His work is perfect. His work is what? Perfect. What? Perfect. That's the I am. That's right. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment. That's God. That's God. A God of truth. He's a God of what? A God of truth. But wait a minute. Who was that in the wilderness? That when rock, Israel? That rock was Christ. And who did the Bible say the rock was in the Old Testament? A God of truth. <laughs> God Almighty is the God of truth. So, when preachers say Jesus Christ is God, the statement is correct. Explanation is wrong. The flesh that Mary birthed was in God. What was in Mary was God, and the flesh had the name of the spirit that was in him. That's, right. That's what he meant when he said, I come in my father's, in my name. father's name. name. He didn't come saying he's Joseph. No. That's right. He ain't come declaring the name of Joseph. I come in my father's name. I come what? In my father's name. The name of the Father is Jesus. Jesus, that's right. Jesus, that flesh inherited right. the name of the Spirit. Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 4. Hebrews 1 and 4 says, Being made so much better than the angels. That's dealing with the flesh. See, the flesh was me. Right. The Spirit was not me. That's right. So you preachers that, been, you people been taught, God became a man, your preacher lied to you. Amen. God ain't never been 30. No. God ain't never been 12. That's right. Let me show you the separation between the human and the divine. Mm -hmm. The Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was filled with the Holy Ghost. God never was filled with the Holy Ghost. God is the Holy Ghost. That's right. Separation in nature. That's right. God became man. Use a liar. God is not a man. What? God is not a man. In Numbers chapter 23 and verse 19. Not God. God is not a man. There ain't no man higher than heaven. That's right. Deeper than hell. That's right. Taller than the sea. Mm -hmm. Longer than the earth. Mm -hmm. When the prophet saw God, he says his face is white like lightning. When the prophet saw God, it says his teeth is white like milk. That's right. When the prophet saw God, it says from his hands go forth the arrows. arrows. When the apostles saw God, it says out of his mouth cometh a two-edged sword. Right. When the apostles saw God, it says the hairs of his head is white like wool, white as snow. 
when the prophets saw God, David said, I saw him riding upon the wings of the wind and walking among the cursed suits of heaven. That's right. When you say God, that means eternal, perpetual. When you say son of God, that means temporary. Temporary. The Bible said those things are seen or temporal, temporal. But that which is not seen, that's eternal. Because the son of man. Listen. In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 17 and at verse 30. Tell you what. For all things cannot be in men. All things cannot be in men. Because the son of man. Because the son of man. Is not immortal. I told you. Amen. <laughs> Mary didn't birth immortality. No, no. The son of man was not immortal. That's the right. son of man was mortal. mortal. So there was a separation. The human and the divine. God and the son of God. Flesh and blood and spirit. Highest and lower. That's right. The Bible says he was made a, a little, little lower, lower than the angels. So yes. Jesus Christ is God, but the flesh wasn't. That's right. The spirit that was in that flesh, the spirit name was Jesus. Jesus. And then the flesh inherited the name of the spirit that was in it. As he hath by inheritance. Give me the first chapter of the book of Hebrews. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. Did you hear what I just said? I said the spirit is written to wit, God was, was in Christ, Christ Jesus. Jesus. So God was in that flesh. And then the flesh inherited the name of the same God mm -hmm. that was in it. Hebrews chapter 1 and at verse 4. That's what? Being made so much better than the angels. That what did he do? As he hath by inheritance. How? As he hath by inheritance. He by inheritance. Obtained a more excellent name than they. Now don't you hear Jesus functioning mm -hmm. in the name of the spirit. That's right. He come along and tell you I do nothing of myself. Of myself. I do not. Jesus never walked on water on his own. That's right. He said, as my father had sent me, has me, sent me, I speak these things. I speak these things. The son of God or the flesh of God was taught. Taught. That's right. And it grew. That's right. It developed. Right. It had favor. Even Jesus talked about had my father taught me these things. He plainly said, my father taught me these things. In St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. Listen. But as my father hath taught no, me. No, let's go up higher. Then said Jesus unto them. Give chapter and verse. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. What is it? Then said Jesus unto them. Then said Jesus unto them. When ye have lifted up the son of man, then shall ye know that I am he. Then what? And that I do nothing of myself. Look at the son of God. That flesh and blood didn't want credit. You see, that's why God manifests himself in the flesh. Mm -hmm. He got in flesh and let flesh do his will and then use flesh to credit the spirit to show everybody that come after him, you can't do nothing on your own. That's right. You got to give God the credit. That's right. You got to say, God bless me to do this and God bless me to do that. And God bless me to do the other. That's, that's right. That's why he manifests himself in the flesh so you can't credit yourself. That's right. I can never say I built churches. I ain't did nothing. Mm -hmm. God did it. That's right. To better understand it, Jesus was God's puppet. Mm -hmm. Son of God was the puppet. That's right. And the spirit was the puppet master. That's right. And the body couldn't do nothing on his own until the spirit died. That's right. The spirit pulled the string and the puppet walks on water. That's right. Just walking while the spirit guides it. Guides it. That's right. What did the Son of God represent? The church. church. The body of Christ. Showing that you can move. You can function. And you don't even have your being without God. Without God. That's right. Are you getting what I'm telling you? And that I do nothing of myself. Give chapter and verse again. St. John chapter 8 and at verse 28. I do nothing. Of myself. But as my father hath taught me. But as the spirit hath taught me. I speak these things. Now, Jesus said on one occasion, when you see me, mm -hmm. you see the father. See the father. Yeah. When you see me, you see the father. That's right. And right then, preacher said, you see that? That means when you looked at Jesus, you was looking at God. That Saint don't mean that. St. John chapter 14. That don't mean that. Because if you say it means that, now you're saying God is a Jew. Right. Am I right? That's right. That's right. If you say that scripture means 
He that when you see me, you see the Father. That means literally, when you look at him, you looked at God. If it means that, that means when you looked at Jesus, now you're saying God is a Jew. You can't connect no nationality to God. That's right. God had no beginning. Jews do. That's right. God had no ending. Jews will. Oh, you get what I'm telling you? That's right. So when you say, when you see me, you see the Father. And the question is, how did you see the Father when you see him? How? Through the works. Through the works. Huh? That's right. It is written, I will know them by their works. By their works. Huh? That's right. So through his works. That's how you see the Father. Believe me. Listen, listen, it's listen. St. John chapter 14 and at verse 11. What did Jesus say? Believe me. Jesus said, believe me. That I am in the Father. I am in the Father. And the Father in me. Hold it right there. Amen. Jesus said, do what? Believe me that I am in the Father. Believe me. I am in the Father. And the Father in me. Now hold it. Jesus was in the Father mm -hmm. before the world was. Right. That's right. That's how the Son of God always exists. Wonderful. Right. Not in form of...